It's snake season. This time of year, they could be slithering anywhere. Sightings are on the rise. Let's show you one right here. This is from one of our viewers, Clyde Pearson, sent us this, this uh, to us today. That black snake is just like the one I found in my driveway just last week. It's not a fun time. News 13's John Lee is live in South Asheville. John, sometimes those encounters with these snakes are dangerous. That's right, and whether it's in the garden or along a trail just like this one, experts say it's that time of the year, folks. Be aware of those hissing hazards. It can be painful to watch. This is Cody. Especially when you see the trembling signs of trauma. It's all right, Cody, man. It's all right. So he got bitten on his back foot. Wednesday night outside his Arden home. Immediately you get pain and swelling. But I suspect he's primarily a house dog. Dr. Beth Jones of Reach tells us the culprit was likely a venomous copperhead snake. And in the summertime, we can see several, two, three, four, five bites a week during the busy snake season. And Dr. Jones says we can all learn from this schnauzer story. It's been a rough day, huh? You should take appropriate measures, gloves, boots, things like that if you're in a place where a snake might meet up with you. The Western North Carolina Nature Center says there are 16 species of snakes in the mountains. Only the northern copperhead and timber rattlesnake are venomous. We get quite a few calls from people. Director Chris Gentile says educating yourself about them and how to react is important. Let's say you're bitten on the hand, you could put a tourniquet on to keep the blood flow from moving quickly. This is probably one you'll see. This is actually a non-venomous black rat snake, probably pretty menacing looking to many folks. No matter what type of snake you encounter, though, it's safest just to leave it alone. Really, they just want to be left alone. So if you leave a snake alone, it's not going to come after you. It's when you start poking and prodding or maybe you accidentally try to step on it or something like that that you're in trouble. He actually just got a second dose of antivenin. Of course, snake bites can be deadly whether the victim is human or dog. Let poor Cody be a reminder of the potential danger slithering around you. You want to beware that this is high season for the snakes to be out. All right, folks, so bottom line, just leave it alone. There are some steps you can take to prevent such encounters. For one thing, you can clear out some of the uh, underbrush around your house, for example, where those snakes might just hide, and you can help protect your pets by keeping them on a leash. Live in South Asheville, John Lee, News 13.